Welcome to a video where we'll be taking a look at how we can make a drift controller. So what we have in here is obviously a vehicle it uses four wheel colliders. Now these colliders are bone stock so they have almost nothing changed in here. All they have in changed is the radius, the suspension distance and the center and that's all. So before we make any changes let's go and try drift it as it is right now. So obviously to drift a vehicle you have to block the two rear wheels so it actually slides and to do that I've added a function that blocks the two rear wheels with a brake torque set to 100,000 and if we're not pressing the handbrake it goes down to zero so we can actually drive. And now let's see how it works. it doesn't work at all. Now one of the main reasons that that doesn't work has to do with these wheel colliders. Now the way these wheel colliders are set by default is that we have forward friction and sideways friction. Now by nature the wheels have more friction where we go forward and they have very less friction where we go sideways. So to simulate that we have these asymptote values and extremium values. Now to simulate that the car goes sideways we have to change these so usually sideways friction is lower so it's set to 0.75 and forward is higher and it's set to 5 so we want to change that by script we don't want to come in here and change it every time we want to go so to do that i made a script and this is the script that i made and inside the script we have a setup wheel collider function that spawns in a collider at a set position and then we give it these values. So at the start we want to change the asymptote value for the forward friction and the asymptote value for the sideways friction. So the result for that is these two sliders. So these sliders will change basically everything. So if we set the sideways friction to 0.6 and the forward friction all the way up to 1 we should see a immediate difference. Okay, now we have more forward friction and less sideways friction. So let's see if it actually makes any difference. Okay, now the car actually slides. The only problem is the rear wheels don't slide the way they are intended to slide when we execute a drift. So I've tried messing around and making the wheel colliders work when we block the rear wheel so it slides and I couldn't make it work. So the workaround for that is that I made a drift car function. All this drift car does is that it sets the stiffness of the rear wheels to 0.5 and we have a smooth down function to go from 1 to 0.5 in a smooth way and, and now let's make that drift car actually execute every frame. Okay if you pay attention to the wheel slip in here and the actual wheel grip we'll see that we have one in all the four wheels. If we press the space bar or any drift button you have you should see that the rear wheels should have a 0.5 slip. Okay so I'm gonna press it now and you're gonna see that it actually goes to 0.5. Now let's drive the vehicle and see if it actually works. As you might have seen, the drift is working almost perfectly fine. The only problem is that this car is a four-wheel drive. What we can do is set it to rear-wheel drive only and see if it actually works. So in my previous videos, I made this drive system where you can select what drive type you want your vehicle to be. Right now we have it to all-wheel drive and we want to set it to rear-wheel drive. Now rear-wheel drive car with a thousand torques maybe a little too much. So I'm gonna try and decrease that just by a little bit to maybe 700. And now let's see if it actually makes any difference. Okay, here we go. Now we're only at reroll drop and we're gonna see if we can actually drift this vehicle. Okay. 
Okay, maybe we need a little bit more power. We're gonna set this torque curve to start from 1000 torques. Okay, now the drift seems to work fine. And I just want to try one last thing. I want to try this stiffness to go down to point 0.3F. Okay, that was it. I know it's a short tutorial, but I thought you might need it. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next videos.